Okay, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa afdalu salati wa tamu taslim ala sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in Allahumma alimna ma yinfa'na wa anfa'na bima alamtana wa zidna ilman wa amala mutakabbalan ya kareem So we said Yeah, no, you can stop it I'm using this So we said uh, This poem Which is called what? Al-Kharida Al-Bahiyya Al-Kharida means what? Who took the notes last time? Kharida means what? The pearl. That, that is not pierced. Excellent. So it's not touched. That's a pearl. Al-Bahiyya means the beautiful. So this is like the beautiful pearl. Right? This poem, 71 verses of poetry about the main beliefs of Ahl Sunnah, of the Muslims. The main beliefs of the Muslims. Okay? Who's the author? Who's the author of this poem? Sayyidi Ahmad al-Dardir Shaykh Ahmad ibn Muhammad al-Dardir Abi al-Barakat They call him the Abu al-Barakat Means the father of the blessings Means means the one who has been endowed with many blessings And this is why the, this title Dardir from As if the blessings are like uh, showering him That's where Dardir came from Okay He's al-Adawi means from Bani Adi, means his lineage goes back to Sayyiduna Umar ibn al-Khattab radiyallahu anhu min Bani Adi, or the Adi, okay, min Bani Adi Al-Maliki, Maliki means he follows the Imam Malik school in the, in jurisprudence, in fiqh, okay, he follows Imam Malik's school and he's one of the main mujtahideen his books in the Maliki fiqh are like an authority and main references in the Maliki fiqh Al-Azhari because he was the Shaykh of Al-Azhar he was the Grand Sheikh of Al-Azhar in his time. And Al-Khalwati, this is a school of Tasawwuf, a school of uh, spiritual purification. One of the schools like you have Naqshbandi, Qadiri, Khalwati. He was born in the year 1201 after the Hijrah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. How many years ago? How many years ago? 230. Eight ago, right? 238 years ago, he was born, right? Of the Hijrah. He passed away one, he passed away 1127. 1127. Okay. He studied hadith and he studied the Hanafi fiqh and he has many, many karamat and many, uh, mashallah, achievements. Uh, we mentioned some of his books and we will. We will take some lines of, of his of his kharida uh, right away, inshallah. We'll start with some of his lines. So what does he start with? Again, he starts with Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Do you remember when we started the Jazariya and we mentioned, we mentioned uh, that generally the Muslim scholars, they start their writings with Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Just like every action you start, you start with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Bismi means what? When you say Bismillah means what? In the name of Allah. What does that mean? In the name of Allah. What is the A'rab of Bismi? Who knows? A'rab. The Ba is a preposition. Harf Jar. Ism is Ism Majroor. But always Jar and Majroor. This is called Jar and Majroor. Jar and Majroor always they need Connection. What does that mean? If I say on the table, what do you understand from this phrase or this clause? What do you understand? Nothing. On the table. What is on the table? You need something. You need to say something, right? Same thing when you say, when you say in the name of Allah. What does that mean? There should be a verb or something, right? To give the full meaning. So the meaning here is implied. Who knows what the meaning is? When, you, when he says like Bismillah We mentioned in Jazariya We mentioned this Means I begin with Bismillah I begin with the name of Allah Seeking the help and the assistance And the blessings of Allah's name Tamam When you start your food, your drink Your class, your writing You enter the masjid, you enter the house Always you say Bismillah Right when you make wudu, when you make ghusl, you say bismillah, right? You start with bismillah. So, he says bismillahir rahmanir rahim. And the word Allah, 
We mentioned it is alamun ala dhati al-wajib al-wujud al-mustahiq li jami'a al-mahamid. It's a proper noun for the essence whose existence is absolutely necessary and who has all perfection and who deserves all praise. This is how the scholars of Aqidah speak about the word Allah or define. Who can repeat? It's a proper noun for the essence whose existence is necessary. We're going to explain this in the poem. He's going to mention this. Means Allah's existence is absolutely necessary. But our existence is not necessary. It's called possible. What about the existence of the universe? What do you think? Is it necessary or possible? It's possible. Means what? If it didn't exist, that's fine. Allah could have chosen not to create anything with him. Just to be by himself alone, right? Just like when he will cause death to everyone and cause death to the angel of death, he will say, I am the king. Where are the kings? Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that is the word Allah. Bismillah. Ar-Rahman means what? Huh? Ar-Rahman means what? Most merciful. Ar-Rahim. Most merciful. <laughs> What's the difference between Ar-Rahman and Ar-Rahim? We mentioned this in Al-Jazariya. Right? Yalla. So Ar-Rahman is the one whose mercy encompasses everything. Whose mercy encompasses everything. Muslims and non-Muslims. People and animals and everything else. That's Ar-Rahman. His mercy is completely comprehensive and covering everything. So some people translated the entirely, comprehensively merciful. But Ar-Rahim, as Allah says, وَكَانَ بِالْمُؤْمِنِينَ رحيما. Ar-Rahim, the one who has the special mercy to the believers. Especially where? In the hereafter. Especially in the hereafter. So that is the difference between Ar-Rahman and Ar-Rahim. Another meaning, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahman means his mercy is so great. Ar-Rahim, his mercy is persistent. His mercy is persistent with the believers in this world and the next world. Tamam? That is Ar-Rahman and Ar-Rahim, some of the differences between them. Let's take one line before we go. يَقُولُ رَاجِي رَحْمَةَ الْقَدِيرِ أَيْ أَحْمَدُ الْمَشْهُورُ بِالْدَرْدِيرِ يَقُولُ رَاجِي رَحْمَةَ الْقَدِيرِ أَيْ أَحْمَدُ الْمَشْهُورُ بِالْدَرْدِيرِ Let's uh, write the first verse and I hope you will be memorizing it. يَقُولُ بسم الله رَاجِي رَحْمَةَ الْقَدِيرِ أي أحمد المشهور بالدردير الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر Is it clear? الله أكبر الله أكبر I forgot to share the, with you the, the BDF I will إن شاء الله share with you the BDF so, يقول It's like the beginning of the Jazariya, right? يقول means what? What does the Jazariya start with? Say same thing. يقول راجي. يقول راجي. In Jazariya, يقول راجي عفوي رب سامي. The one who is hopeful of the mercy of his, of the forgiveness of his Lord says, right? Here, who can tell me the meaning of the the first part? القدير راجي the one who is hopeful for hoping the mercy of اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد اللهم رب هذه الدعوة تامة والصلاة القائمة والسلام هذا سيدنا محمد وسيد الفضل what is it
Qadir, Wallah, you have to tell me, you, you're the Hafiz and the, the most powerful, right? From Qudra. Qudra is one of the 13 main attributes for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He has unlimited power. Qadir, he can do everything he wants. He's the all powerful, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, Yaqulu Raji Rahmata, I want to repeat with me. Yaqulu Raji Rahmata Al Qadiri. أي أحمد المشهور بالدرديري. Do you notice that it's the same وزن and the same meter of الجزرية؟ يقول راجي عفو رب سامعي محمد بن الجزري الشافعي. يقول راجي رحمة القدير أي أحمد المشهور بالدرديري. The same بحر. Who remembers what what بحر is the جزرية from? بحر الرجز. بحر الرجز. Most of the Poems, the scientific poems like this, means the, the scholarly poems, the poems on the Islamic sciences, most of them are from this meter because it's easy and it has many, many feet, many feet, the poetic feet. So you can change many and it's easy to write with this meter and compose using this meter. يَقُولُ رَاجِي رَحْمَةَ الْقَدِيرِ The one who's hopeful for the mercy of the most powerful says, Who is he? Who is this? أي أحمد أي means what means I mean يعني أعني أي means what I mean the one who is hopeful for the mercy of the most powerful I mean أحمد أي أحمد who is أحمد the name of the writer he's saying about himself أحمد المشهور بالدردير إمام ابن الجزري what is his شهرة what is he famous for? What is his title that he is famous for? Ibn al-Jazari. Sayyid, Sayyidina Ahmad al-Dardir, what is he famous for? Al-Dardir. So al-Mashhoor means what? The one who is famous for or famous with the title of al-Dardir. Al-Dardir, the one who is being showered with the mercy and the blessings of Allah. Got it? Any question? Did you get it? So... What is the second part? Ay Ahmed al Mashhur bil Dardiri means what? Who can tell me? Ay Ahmed al Mashhur bil Dardiri. What does that mean? I mean or meaning Ahmed, the one who is famous for the title of Al Dardir. Got it? Yalla, who can tell me the whole line now? Yaqul Raji Rahmat al Qadiri, Ay Ahmed al Mashhur bil Dardiri. What does that mean? Hopeful, hopeful of. of the most powerful. Uh huh. In, says, in the name of Ahmed. Meaning, not in the name. I mean, yeah. I mean, Ahmed, the one who's famous for the title Ad Dardir, says. What does he say? That's the second line. Alhamdulillah al Ali al Wahidi al Alim al Ferdi al Ghani al Majidi. Alhamdulillah al-Ali al-Wahidi al-Alim al-Fardi al-Ghani al-Majidi wa afdalu al-Salati wa al-Taslimi ala al-Nabiyy al-Mustafa al-Karimi wa alihi wa sahbihi al-Athari la siyama rafiquhu fi al-Ghari These four lines, he starts with Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, and Salat ala Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Just like al-Jazariya He starts with Alhamdulillah, Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, and Salat ala Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Same thing in al-Jazariya Inshallah, next time we're going to cover the the, the next three lines so we finish the, the first four lines insha'Allah Allahumma ja'alna min al-ladheena yastami'oona al-qawl fa yattabi'oona ahsana sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen